All right, guys, welcome back to the road to SSL in 3v3. Today is episode number 16, and we're going to be Afro 54 today. Last episode, we were Harry Peak with an Afro, which was absolutely hilarious. But today, we're going to make Alpha 54 into the similar photo. I think for the next episode, we got to do KDOP, but I have no idea what to call him. Maybe KMOP, that was the best thing we came up with. If you have a better idea for KDOP, let me know in the comments. I'll grab the best one for the next episode. But now it's time to make this photo. Let's jump right in. All right, so when we made Harry Peak, the best one was definitely a white photo background. This one's got a transparency, so we'll grab this one, drop it in Photoshop, and then grab the afro real quick. Same afro should do. All right, let's make this guy a little bigger. There we go. Probably a little smaller, actually. We'll do like right here. Just make this a little bigger. <laughs> I mean, it just writes itself, honestly. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. I mean, honestly, that's all it takes. I mean, that's pretty good. I think we should drop uh, the two of them next to each other just for comparison. <laughs> I mean, the whole squad's coming together real nice. There's a space for Kate up in the background here. I think it's great. I think it's going to be really funny once we finish it up. But let's jump into the episode now and see how it goes. All right, and there we have it. Part two of the Vitality Afro crew. We're going to be jumping into the next episode here. Uh, I believe we actually made it back into Grand Champion 3 Division 2. Yes, we did. So we're at 1751 at the moment. Uh, so far, it's been pretty good. We had a loss in the last episode, which was the first of the series, but obviously we're getting into pretty, some pretty tough matchups, and we did redeem ourselves with the same teammates. Let's jump into the next game, see how it goes. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you guys are enjoying the playlist uh, that I have available for you guys. There's also the previous 2v2 Road to SSL as well, if you haven't checked it out. But now let's jump right in. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> All right, we got the first game. We got a Twitch guy. Hey, I'm Marzi and FXZZD. Uh, I actually don't have uh, the MMR on right now. I need to make sure I turn that on. I'm trying to bump this guy. I know I couldn't get in the way of the ball, so I just tried to bump the guy on the way out. Hopefully someone can go for it. They couldn't quite get to it, and that's a goal for luck. Um, I think if I turn it on right now, it won't work. I'm going to try, though. It, it might update. I don't, I'm not sure, though. It probably won't. We got two players that are, are partied up on the other team, so we got to be a little bit aware of that. It's okay, though. I'll let this guy touch it. It's not a big deal if he does. Now I can collect it off this touch. Big boom from the side. Should be Marcy's ball here. Not a great touch once again. It just goes back down to the opponents. I gotta be a little bit careful with my teammates passing the ball to the opponents a lot. Because they've been doing that so far. Most of their touches aren't really that valuable. They need to make sure they keep it close. That's a good try. Once again, big throw away. Gotta be careful of this guy turning on as well. I know he's going to do that, so I'm just going to go for the block. He ended up not hitting it, so I just went past the ball. But that's okay, though, because it goes into our corner. Teammate's going up from the side. I thought he was going to go back behind me. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I know there's not too much stress on that. I'm going to pop it over the last. This is open for my teammate. He ends up missing. But a good finish. Could be in. There we go. So a bit panicky for my team so far. Um, I knew I had time on that, that bounce, which is why I waited. And I just ended up popping over the last player because they got greedy. And we got a goal. Um, a little bit panicky from the Fizz guy. I'm not really sure how to say his name because he got an X. A little edgy. Not going to lie. Good block. I'm trying to push up on this as fast as possible so they can't get uh, a clear. They're going to panic on this touch as well. I'm going to get the boost from them. And now my teammate has a free ball. Good pop over one. I like that patience in the corner. Good challenge. Chefwick's going to beat me on this. Good play. Ooh, I went for that so that I'm not actually able to go for that shot. But uh, good of my teammate to keep it in. There's lots of time. Okay, my teammate panicked a little bit again. That's okay, though. This Fizz guy is a little panicky. That's okay. Um, we're just going to work around that. Knowing knowing that he's uh, going to be a little bit aggressive. Shoot a top, top left area behind the player and we get a goal. Nice little play. Good 50-50 from uh, Martzi. <laughs> Is that Mertzi? This guy might be make a bad touch. So it's going to follow it up. It's not the biggest deal, though, because Fizz should have this. Good pop across. I like that placement of the ball. I'm trying to air roll so I keep the ball close, and then I can try to 50 this again. And it ends up working. Pop this up above that player, too. Wasn't able to get the boost because of it, but it's actually more important that I hit that ball over on defense, on their defense. So make sure to get a solid touch there. I know that guy's not going to make it to the next ball, but um, I know that other guy was going to follow it. So just going to wait for their touches. Solos might make a touch off the corner here. I'm going to grab this, grab this boost. Good try. It's a cross. I'm trying to get in the way. At least block some angles. Teammate gets bumped off, so I'm just going to watch the pass across. Go for a shot on target. Chefwick's probably going to save this. 
But I know that, so I'm going to grab the mid, uh, the corner boost and wait for the double touch opportunity for my teammates. I am last here, so I got to be a little bit careful. There we go. Hopefully I can stay with this. I wasn't able to, but this is a bit messy. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Good try from Marcy. I like that he's being patient. I really like how Marcy's playing. He's playing for time uh, in situations. Fizz, on the other hand, is a little bit all over the place, as you can see. But this guy just passed the ball for the, from the opponent's team, so... We get a free shot on target, and I make sure to shoot that to the back left when the two players are trying to block the shot on target. You can see that the way they're directing on target right here, if I go in between them right here, that the one player is not going to be able to react in time, and it goes in on the back left. Hopefully, my teammate pops in a mid. We're good. Pop over one. <laughs> it works out. I don't think that was actually Marty's bad. I think, uh, once again, Fizz kind of made a weird uh, clear over to the side. I'll be able to grab this ball and boost, hopefully. I like that they actually threw the ball away. But Chef Wick's going to follow up, which is well played from him. I can't follow that, so I'm going to back up. Kind of expected that my teammate was going to get bumped there, so I was just wait waiting for the next touch. Should be able to follow this up, maybe? That's actually a really good finish. Well played. I'll give him a nice one for that one. I actually had it too, but obviously he was uh, reading it ahead of the play. Good redirects. He says, I love you guys. <laughs> I'll give him a quick heart. Well played. So we got 13 points. I actually see, see the MMR now on the screen at the end here. Uh, it must be because it updated. Um, so yeah, we actually had, he was the highest ranked in the lobby, which is insane. Anyway, let's jump into the next game, see how it goes. We got 13 points, not too bad, and hopefully we get GC, uh, 3 Division 3 in this, in this episode. We're getting super, super close to SSL, it's actually kind of crazy. Alright, we got game number two, we got Beanbag, and we got the Fizz guy again, so he is high level, and so is, uh, Beanbag, actually. So we're the lowest MMR rank on the team right now. Big miss from the opponents, gonna be Ken Peach throwing the ball away. Like that pass, it's pretty good. It'll pop it off the backboard, see if they can reach it. They can't. Just wait for that defense. If he misses that, that's a free goal for me. So just make sure I'm ready for that. We just for, wait for at, uh, Sa <laughs> I said. <laughs> oh man, ignore me. I see if Beanbag can get that. He doesn't get it, so I'm gonna pop it to the corner, nice and soft. Try to follow up with a touch, and then pop it up middle for my team. I think I did that all a little bit too quickly for my team because they weren't able to react to any of it. I hope that they would maybe re be ready for the next touches. Good catch from Fizz. Good. I'll get in the way here. Try to keep it close. Save some of my boost so I can uh, get to the floor a little bit faster. Grab a few pads on the way back. Fizz has lots of possession. I can get like close to 60 or even 60 or more uh, from mid midfield pads. Try and get a 50-50 uh, in the way of this guy. Fizz needs to be a little bit careful since he is last. So hopefully he plays a little patient. Great pop. It could actually just be straight in. I think it is. Well played. That's good of him to catch that position where both players are kind of pushing in a weird spot. See both players uh, challenging. It's definitely a lot more composed from Fizz this game so far. At least we have third this time. Wait. <laughs> What's he saying? I think they might have played with each other. I'm going to wait for Ken Peach here. Decent. Good follow. It's going to be him. Maybe they, maybe they had a 2v3 this game or, or last game or something. Good play from Beanbag. Be waiting for uh, Marty. Oh, it's Marty. Pop this middle for my team. Well played. It wasn't the greatest pass. It works out though. Did that guy just own goal? Oh my. Okay, that's fine. I should be able to beat this guy if I go. I'm gonna try and clear. Uh, I try to hit that to the curve. It's a bad play because it goes right back to midfield. Midfield for them. Good cut from Fizz. Looking real solid. Okay. Popping this to the sidewall. That way it stays close. That should be a free touch for my team now. I was hoping one of them would stay right side for that touch, but it's all good. Good. Pops into the ceiling for a one touch. He ends up bumping me so I can't follow it up. And Ken Peach throws it away anyway, so it works out for us. I'll go back corner. I'll go the backboard really high. Marts, he's pretty low boost. I was hoping for maybe a demo here. Pop over one. See, oh, it pops off my car because of that too. So we'll get the, the boost from Marts, which is good. Hopefully, B-Bag can make a shot. Ends up missing, but that's okay. It goes to the left side. There's lots of space. Good demo. Fizz looking pretty solid here. Not a big fan of that extra touch, but Beanbag should... Okay. <laughs> he just wants to keep going. I'm going to bump the one guy in mid. I don't even know how I demoed him. I don't feel like I was going that fast. Get a bump here. Hopefully, Fizz can pass it middle. That's a decent touch. Wait for Marcy to make a touch. Go across. Sass trying to make a touch. Ooh, it could be a in actually. Beanbag should be able to have a clear here. 
trying to just fake this guy. I had no boost, so I at least want him to throw the ball away. See if Marcy make it, makes it clear. He does. Should be Beanbag's touch. Could have probably looped around that a little bit better before he made the touch. I might have a double here. So I'm just gonna wait for it. Kind of expe I expected from the trajectory um, that, that was gonna maybe happen. It's a decent pop off middle midfield. Good pass. Take a shot towards target. See if Sass does something. Uh. Okay, free touch for Beanbag. Nice. A little bit confusing so far, but it's all good. Should be Fizz's ball here. It's a decent touch. Gives it back to Sass, but Sass gives it right back to him. And Marcy wasn't able to make it back. He looked like he was maybe low boost. Definitely should have had a clue here with his positioning. Um, looks like he was he missed all the boost pads. So you can see how important that is. He still had boost though. He just missed. Um, I think he would have had a better chance and more confidence if he had more boost. But so far we're playing a pretty good third man game here. We're just uh, playing consistently for my team. Waiting for Beanbag to take that corner. Probably got a 50-50 here. It's nice that I bounce out as well because then I can sit back in midfield, wait for that touch. So once again, just playing consistent third man. Wasn't the greatest touch, but do we get over one and another one and might get over the third because they're going to just overcommit here. So well played. We're going to get a free goal here off the corner. It's just a little bit of a consistency thing to get that corner shot. But once I got the pop over the last player, I knew that I had so much time uh, to play with the ball out of the corner and just get a shot towards target. Excuse me? <laughs> well, my name is... <laughs> oh, man. That's one of the, one of the chances. That's pretty funny. No. I am... <laughs> that's pretty funny. Anyway, let's jump into the next game. It'll be the last game of the episode. We've got 12 points. Not too bad. We didn't div up yet, so... We're probably going to get division up in the next game, uh, but we'll, we'll, have, we'll have to see, though. We're only at 17, uh, 77, so I think I think SSL is 1815, or it might, might be 1865 now. I'm not sure anymore because they've changed it quite a few times, but uh, like I said, let's jump into the last game. Hopefully, it goes well, and we'll hopefully get into the next division. All right, for the last game, we got Fizz once again. Every single game we've had him on my team, uh, and we got Mom as well. So, we got Ken Peach on the other team as well. He's a little bit confused, so I'm going to go for the high dunk. A little bit slow rotation. Could be in because mom's ready for that. <laughs> it's weird to call him mom, but there he is. Um, Ken Peach wasn't really making a good uh, quick aggressive clear. And Optic made a really weird uh, rotation on the backboard. Wasn't reading that bounce down. And mom got in there real quick. So ever since that first game, Fizz has been looking really consistent. So the first game was a little bit, uh, a little bit suspicious. But otherwise, he's been looking really good. Let's get this first touch here. Go for a fake on the air dribble. That way it pops behind him. We want to make sure that we get the the last touch of that 50-50. If he pinches that, it's actually good for us because we can stay with this. Pop this around the one. Hopefully Fizz can go for this. I like the pass attempt mid, but obviously it's too close to the defense. Go wait for the demos here. There we go. Just waiting for the touches. Up over one. Over two. Mom's ready for it. Good clear. Ken Peach probably going to make it clear to the side, so I like that Fizz is ready for it. You know, maybe now that he knows it's me, he might be a little more confident with what, what I'm doing, which is kind of funny. He's going to be he's gonna be trusting me a little more because I can already tell he's ready for those passes. So sometimes knowing that your teammate's like a solid player helps, which is why I like to get a good read of the opponents um, to know who I'm, who I'm, uh, you know, being wary of on the field. There's usually like standout players you can tell are like players that are going to make consistent touches. Um, or do misses like that where he kind of kind of like tries to make a possession but doesn't quite have the mechanics to do it I am last for a little bit so I'm gonna wait for Ken Peach to make a catch and then and then immediately uh, pounce on that so mom has a free touch can't go, go for this backward read so I'm just gonna immediately rotate out it's greedy to try and stay with that if you do go for it don't like that touch from mom because it, it goes back to the opponents when we're trying to set up on defense but it's not the end of the world I like that pass midfield that's really good play Try to go for target, but it's still okay if I just boom it down the field in that situation. There's two players committed, and I'm definitely in the more dangerous situation than the opponents. They're going to be more confident to just go for the 50-50 or the challenge. Good shot and good good, uh, good attempt on the save, but they weren't able to get the back left corner. I like that Fizz was ready for that. Like I said, he's just ready for these 50-50s in mid. He does, does kind of creep into the corner or the, to the side a little bit too much, but he ends up making it work. He could have probably had a more powerful shot if he waited in midfield for that to spill out. Boom behind. I don't have any boost pads. I try to grab the one. 
Maybe a little bit tough. I just made sure I uh, pre-flip that one with zero boost. Now, this should be pretty much open. Um, good, good of them to cut in quickly, though. Not too antsy to get a goal or anything. Um, since we are uh, we are up two goals. The pop off the backboard or the sidewall is a little bit uh, rough for the opponents. Could be 50-50 here as well. I don't really want to go for this yet because it's still... Uh, it's still in a position where... Um, no, it's fine. It's a good pass. I could have scored that. Um, still in a position where it's too close to the wall. I don't really want to overcommit. My teammate's also there in the corner. Should be okay. But he's got a lot more confidence to go for this touch. Go for a first soft touch to pop it over the one. Good cut from the opponents, though. See if Mom makes a touch. She does. Go for the early aerial. Try to use a little bit of boost to grab to the wall faster. And might be in. Close. Good save. That guy hitting that hard actually isn't good for him because he keeps it uh, away from his team. i a little bit careful of uh, positions like that where you could actually soften the ball. And you see pros a lot. They make these like soft uh, angle touches. And that's a really good pinch off the car there from Mom. Um, a lot of pros, what they'll do is they'll actually like air roll their car at the last second. Because air rolling in, in like an air dribble softens the ball to keep it closer to you. That's how you air dribble better. But if you think about it, when you're trying to make it clear into the corner and you're trying to keep it close, air rolling also helps with that and like softening a touch with like wheel touches and stuff. And uh, overall, I think that those were a good set of three games. Hope hope you learned something. If you didn't, uh, check back in the next episode, I guess. But until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, and we divisioned up. I always do this. <laughs> well, there it is. We got the division up.